Hello guys and welcome back to Oversky Card Spotlight. This week we're going to take a look at something a little bit more fun. We're going to take a look at Yakapult. Now this was one of my favourite cards when it was getting teased before the Oversky was released. And unfortunately I feel like Yakapult doesn't have many decks it can fit in. I mean you could just fit it into any deck that could build up to six special lands. So you can fit it into Crackthorn, um, Istanu decks. But they don't really help Yakapult out. Yakapult's just another creature with ranged. Whereas if you build a deck around Yakapult, if that's what you want to do, uh, blue-green is the perfect color combination for that. Uh, blue-green offers cards like Gabrion's Enchantment, and you also get the green cards like Elderwood Embrace, maybe even Shamanic Dance or Tiki Piper, to increase the life of the Yak, enchant it, turn its life into its attack stacks so you get this massive Yakapult and start hurling Yaks at your opponent's orb. I've actually played a blue-green Yakapult deck that I built and it's, it's a lot of fun if it goes off. If you can get things going with it, it can be uh, a lot of fun to play and probably very frustrating for your opponent. So today I'm going to be playing my blue-green Yakapult deck. I'm going to do some games on ladder, see how it performs and hopefully guy, you guys will enjoy it and like it and give it a try. Also, if you'd like to learn more about Yakapult and the card in general, be sure to check out the article in the description below, which is featured over on the hub. All right, guys, let's get into some games and see how it does. All right, guys, into our first match. Mono Nobu is, uh, or Noob, is going to be our first opponent. We have two elementals. That's really good. We need to build lands for our Skyak. So I feel we could just throw the Frog Tosser for now. And an elder would embrace to help us in combat. So very nice, very nice. Let's uh, let's see what happens. So it is a mountain. This is pretty good for us because we are playing green, which means we can now uh, use our power ups uh, to leverage the board. Now red is probably one of the best colors right now, especially red combat. We'll see how this deck performs against it because when I last played uh, blue green Yakapult. Mono red wasn't that popular. So I'm curious to see how things go. We might see another color come down. No, nope, it's going to be another mountain. And it's going to be a flame silk fairy. Wow. Okay, I am ex I'm expecting shifting tide now. I have a sneaky feeling that shifting tide is going to be showing up at some point. But we're just going to split our collections. We're already four special lands, so Yakapult is only two turns away if we don't draw another elemental. Now, I'm not running three of each elemental in this build. I'm also not running Earthcraft because I wanted to make more room for other cards. And another Flame Silk Fairy. Man, I haven't seen Flame Silk Fairy in a while. And I can actually clear this now with a Sunken Tower. That is excellent. The only issue I have... It puts me in line with this. So I, I need to figure out a way to dodge the ranged attack of the Flame Silk Fairies. Now, this could potentially slow down my land progression, but I think I'm okay with that. Because if I was to move this here in special land and hit, this could actually trigger and clear my wood elemental. But if I was to double neutral up, jump here into Sunken Tower, move here and hit this, this guy can't hit my water elemental and I can just retreat my wood elemental. I just need to I just need to assess how important it is to get Yakapult next down next turn. And currently I want Yakapult to go in the center, and this card will be covering the center and not not allowing me to play Yakapult safely. So we are actually gonna go for the uh, this we're gonna go for this line. We miss a Feria, a little unfortunate. But we do get to clear this, and then we can retreat back. And now we're out of range of the uh, of the flame silk. Flame silk is going to need some movement, which red red green can't really do outside of teleport. Just going to see a cipher's wrath. That's fine. That's fine. So we've, we've slowed down the the Yakapult progression, sure. But and now we have a we have a central path for Yakapult to have influence. Now what I can do is sunken tower is I can move to the right here, collect, then move my wood elemental into double collection out of reach of this flame silk fairy. See what else is coming down. 
I also have access to an aggressive land if I really want it. Okay, just gonna tiki caretaker and that guy's gonna sit there. Okay. I wonder if I take a aggressive land here. But I'm giving my opponent a land to step on. I, I don't I don't think that's worth it. So yeah, let's just move into double collection. I can take a lake in here. And then we'll pass. So next turn I get Yakapult down. And then I uh, hopefully Yakapult will stick around. I could probably pre-buff it, but I do have to be cautious of Crystal Flower. Crystal Flower is a problematic card when it comes to pre-buffing your creatures because you can get punished. And that is a Flower Silk. Let's see if he moves. Nope, Flame Silk's just going to chill there. And Frog Toss are picked up, so... We have a lot of great lines now. What do I need? I need another forest. So yeah, let's, let's frog toss her up here. Just check. Ch always check your ranged paths from your opponent's creatures, or even your own. If you're curious of where you can play your creatures safely, just highlight it. It gives you exact like tiles that the creature can gain access to its ranged ability so if we play in the forest here it's gonna be absolutely fine and we can now clear this some of the frog very nice and then get the yak pulled down yeah i think that's good i mean i could alternatively use sunken tower to move this here enchant or elderwood and then clear this that's actually... I don't mind that. I'll keep the enchant for the Yakapult. But if I Elderwood, I'm going to live on two life. But I do open myself up to Firestorm. So maybe that's not what I want to do. Yeah, let's, let, let's, let's just wait for now. I don't want to open... I'll open up these three creatures to Firestorm. I probably still have my Yakapult, but this is red. So Firestorm into Cypher's Wrath could be problematic, to say the least. Flame Burst... Cypher's Wrath. What's this card? Ground Shaker? Or just a buff, maybe? I think he's, I think he's considering, like, where, where does this Flame Salt Fairy want to go? It's an enchant. Okay. Kind of works out for him at least. Uh, we, I think we have some good counterplay actually. We can, uh, we can collect clear then Elderwood and clear. Could even enchant this if I want to keep my frog alive. And I can chase this down with the sunken tower. So even if this moves, it makes no difference. All right. Oh, Yakapult is back. So we are going to chase this down. We're going to just clear the board out. Just makes me wonder, is it worth just trading? I think it's just worth trading with this. But then again, my opponent is top decking. Can Grand Shaker... Or do I want to save the power-ups of the Yakapult? I don't actually need... I don't need any lands right now. So I can take a draw. So let's take the draw first. Feed the forest. Okay, I'll take the enchant. Move. Clear this out. Collect. There, let's clear this. Into Yakapol. And we'll pass. So we have complete board control now. It seems like Yakapol's a better ranged creature than Flame Silk. Oh, here's another Yakapult! Who would have thought a Yakapult mirror would happen? Is that a power-up as well? No, it's just going to be a surrender. So, 1-0 for the Yakapult list so far. Up to rank 6 as well, I'll take it. But that, to be fair, that wasn't uh, a serious deck. But, and well, I, that's not fair to say. Um, Flame Silt Fairy, unfortunately, is not that good. But I can see what this deck was trying to do, uh, using the fairies, getting the Yakapult down, so having a variety of ranged creatures within the green-red archetype. So this is actually another example of where you could play Yakapult 
if you're interested in trying a new style of deck. So get into the lab, guys. Chuck some fairies, red and green, with some Yakapults, and get testing if this is an archetype you'd be interested in. All right, guys, next game. Let's see what happens here. Rose, Mythmaker, Crystal Flower, Sunken Tower. We don't want any of these. We want Elementals. Uh, pretty much the priority pickup for us. Uh, Octopus are not too bad as well. Willows are another one. Take a forest in the middle. We need a central land spot for our Yakapult. Now, this can be a bit dangerous when playing against Rush, but we do have a lot of... Uh, taunt creatures. Uh, Green Rush could actually be a bit of a problem now for this list. Uh, Green Rush wasn't really an issue uh, when I was playing this originally. Okay, so, so it is a slower... It is a slower build. That's fine. So we can just do this. On the next turn, we have Willow to collect for maybe a turn or two, and then we can feed it when once it's kind of done all its collecting. Uh, we're pretty close to Frog Tussle already, which is nice. This might just be Mono Green, yeah. Look at my kit. Right, so we don't need we don't need to feed the Willow yet. Uh, feeding the Willow doesn't really achieve much. We might as well allow this Willow to collect as much Fairy as it can. Now, Mono Green has made a return in two archetypes, both Rush and a more mid-range slash control style build. I'm gonna see Explore into a, a not, not an aggressive forest, and it is gonna be Ruining. Now, we don't have any answers to this outside of Crystal Flower, which you saw earlier. So yeah, that could this could be a little bit of a problem. Let me just double check. Yeah, so we don't we don't run Frogifies, unfortunately, so. Not really an option. Double feed on Runed. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to need that Crystal Flower pretty early on. Earthcraft. Into a desert. Now, that is most interesting. And an Elder. Okay. So now we can now we can feed this. And we picked up a Crystal Flower. So we could even just Crystal Flower it and be done with it. And then we don't need the feed. Problem is I don't have anywhere safe the crystal flower right now. I think I take a lake here, collect and feed, and just go from there. Yeah, let's let's do that. So I'm a little afraid that we can't safely summon this crystal flower, and then we get punished by. You know, things like the Emperor's Command or a Wind Soldier, potentially. If I, I, if I stuck Crystal Flower here and I didn't feed, the Wind Soldier wouldn't have any relevance. But we did decide to feed in the end. I could use Shifting Tide to move this away, but it doesn't really do anything. Oh, uh, Shifting Tide. Sorry, Sunken Tower. Actually, I'm going to use Sunken Tower to move my Wood Elemental up by here. So slotting this into double collection quite early on. We can use maybe Frog Tosser in combination uh, with another card then to uh, like the Crystal Flower. So we could like Crystal Flower, Runin, Frog Tosser, the, the Elder. Unless it's getting sacked. So then we can kind of just clean up the board and keep a frog for ourselves. It's gonna be a Demon Wrangler. Okay. So we can actually just Frog Tosser this. And I can use, like, Sunken Tower. Oh, wow. That's, that, that's such a good draw for us. Okay, so... What do we want to do? I think we want Frog Tosser this side. We can use Wood Elemental to collect. Then we can make another land here. And then sun then Crystal Flower on, over here. So really out of reach. Uh, just in reach of our Double Collector. But we can move it around. We can move, like, the land back up, to, up here over time. Doesn't give us a draw, which is quite sad, but I think that's fine. So let's, yeah, let's do that. So Wood Elemental, collect. Uh, we're gonna need another lake, so let's get a lake down for Fogoro. Drop the Crystal Flower. And then Frog Toss at this. Looks good to me. 
So now Runin's locked away for a little while. This does block us from moving aggressively, but I'm not going to use this as an aggressive creature. This this creature's job is to just double collect for me every turn. So we're try collecting, and now she Ranger is only collecting from one well. Have a lot of land down, so this is going to give us access to Yakapol and Fugora. So we can start drawing cards now. Let's start. Let's start digging, trying to find that Yakapol. It might actually be worth running one Curious Biomancer in this list. It was quite successful for Cahillion in his blue-green ram from the Monthly Cup. Alright, I'm going to take care of the Wood Elemental instead. Which is fine because that means I quad collect this turn. And while this does empower the Bone Collector up to 4, that still means that the Frog Tosser can clear it. So another sack is kind of needed here. Unless there's a play here, a Demon Wrangler gonna sack this. Okay, that makes more sense. Feed the forest, not what we want. We can take a draw. Elderwood Embrace, very nice. How do we wanna do this? So I can move here, Sunken Tower up, Elderwood, clear the Bone Collector, then clear this. Seems pretty good to me. I just wanna... Yeah, let's do it this way. So picking up a lot of utility right now, I really wanna see Acapult. As soon as possible, or potentially another crystal flower just to, to snipe Rune again and lock her away for a bit. Again, still collecting off one well, so we're, we're, we've got the fairy advantage here. That wood elemental double collect on the right is just incredible for us right now because there is no, no one's contesting it. Rune will contest it eventually. Uh, but before the last tick, or the last couple of ticks, I'm going to move the Crystal Flower back to his orb. going to take aggressive land. So I did open myself up a little bit. Oh, that's a big Soul Eater. Oh, blocking it. I see, I see. Okay. Really bad draws. Another Crystal Flower. I'm gonna feed this now. I, I need to. I need. I need to pick up something like Fagoro. Willow. That's fine. Feed the Willow. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna do this. Move on to this desert, we'll clear this guy. And then we will crystal flower. Oh, I need a crystal flower safely. Even if it means I, I slot into double collection. I basically need to make sure that this can't get wind soldiered. I could crystal flower it here and then, yeah, so what I can do is this. Oh, we can double neutral. Uh, uh, that, that was a mistake. I need to move it here. Oh, Willow, okay. Enchant is definitely not what we need right now. Shifting Octopus, excellent. Move this up here. And then we can develop a shifting octopus. Seven life. So this allows us to enchant 
the octopus, and uh, the enchant will make it a 7-7. This looks like a bad matchup to me. I, I don't win the long game here, and I had, I, I had some I had some pretty good draws, to be honest. Uh, but I didn't have anything to kind of finish the match for me. I didn't pick up my Yakapult or anything like that. And these, these Soul Eaters are going to outlast me, unfortunately. Again, we'll take a draw. We need to move this out of the way. So this uh, Soul Eater can't get it. We'll move in here. We'll step on this desert. Take the Elderwood. Take the Enchant. So now we now we have something that can contest. This Soul Eater, who's pretty good. Now, I think the worst thing that could happen to us right now is double neutral down into a Fnatic, and then Fnatic and open up this Soul Eater, which is going to be a big problem. I don't mind these trading, that's fine. If it kills a Willow and a Soul Eater, I'm good with that. And then next turn, I have Myth Maker. I can six to the orb, or maybe six to this if I need to. War Elemental safe to double collect this turn. Or if Runin doesn't move, I can just leave uh, the Water Elemental here to collect. No, I, I think there's a lot of ways you can build this deck. I was looking on the hub for Yakapult decks. Oh, I think it's going to be Fnatic. But yeah, I was looking on the hub for Yakapult tech decks and there was three. There was uh, three blue-green lists, one from Lou. One for myself and one from another player called Lin uh, Linux. And uh, I think Lou and uh, my mine and Lou build are quite close together, but um, Linux built it completely differently. So I think there's a lot of flexibility of how you build this list, which is quite nice. Ah, oh, gets the enchant. That's really good. So just one damage is really annoying. Like it's not easy for me to deal into a bone collector. I've used all my sunken towers. I can enchant it, that's fine. So I wanna block this, cause it's gonna go down to one. Yeah, so I need to block this. But let's take a draw first. Water elemental, absolutely fine. Uh, right, we can enchant this down to one. Sweet. Then we can Aurora. I need an Aurora where this doesn't get powered up. So let's Aurora up here. What do I even do? I even want to Aurora? I could be really cheeky. Like, I could set up an aggressive Water Elemental and just enchant this. And then use Aurora on the Yak. So yeah, actually, I'm going to do that instead. So let's enchant. Frog Tosser. That's really good. Let's take care of this. And then... So yeah, blocking this for a turn. Uh, this can actually hit it now. I guess it didn't matter, actually, if it got hit open now. If he hits this open, it's going to get cracked open anyway at the end of my turn. I guess I delay it by a turn. No, it, it wouldn't have made any difference. I should have just left it. I kind of miss a theory there, but we'll see what happens. I have a lot of burst if this doesn't get killed. Or at least blocked. Because I can throw five damage, enchant this, push for another four, then enchant this, and then go in. And this frog's going to double collect for me. So we're not out of it just yet. We, we're still in this match. We can still do a lot of damage with the right cards. Flash Salmon. And a hit. Oh, very nice. I like this move. Very smart. Plus one into another Soul Eater. Yeah. 
So all the Soul Eaters in the top 20 cards is pretty nasty. But I, I think Yakapult should just protect me for a turn. Double I can collect here. It's going to crack at the end of my turn. I can clear this guy. I can make. I could make land with the elemental. I think we take a draw anyway, just, just to see what's going on. Yeah. So we can clear this. Collect off this well. Maybe we just taunt this up for now. Get another yak over here, left side. Very nice. And then we pass. So things things are looking a much bleaker now. Another soul eater has come down. Now if I was able to pick up a crystal flower, I could get some. I could. I could get some time. Because this is going to clear my yak. This is going to clear this. So I'm going to need another crystal flower. Or another taunt. To keep me in the match. Now bear with me a moment guys. I'll be right back. Sorry about that guys, mail coming. All right, so where are we? Um, in a pretty bad spot, I would say. Six damage. Pythagoro, I'm gonna get two fairy. I won't be able to crystal flower. That doesn't help me out any either. We'll have we'll have a look what Urn would have given us. Yeah, that's gonna be game. So well played. A little unfortunate there, because I felt that we just didn't get we just didn't draw into any of the meat once we had established ourselves in the match. Like we really needed a Yakapult earlier. Uh, we needed maybe Fugoro earlier, but we, we didn't get them, and it was really unfortunate because that early that ruining double feed the forest was nuts, and then to have three soul eaters like that is really really hard to deal with. But you win some, you lose some. Let's move on into the next match. All right, guys, into our last match for this episode. We're one one, and this game will probably decide if I stay in God rank or not. I'm just gonna keep the octopus. I can play this in free to. That doesn't sound very good, does it? Three turns. Let's let's just keep it. Let's just see what happens. We're playing against Salugi, very accomplished and strong player. Let's see what happens. It's gonna be a forest in the middle. We'll take the forest in the middle as well, and we'll give Salugi a hello. Krog looking very cheerful today. Oh, this could be path to face. Okay. Let's do this. We did pick up... We have a Yakapult now, and we also have Crystal Flower, but I don't think Crystal Flower is going to be that good, to be honest. Crystal Flower is not going to help in path to face. That's, that's the Tephra. That's just an 11-11 Tephra going in. So once again, green gets some massive creatures that we're going to have to answer, but now we, now we have two... Yeah, we have two of these now, so we can keep it in check for quite some time. Let's go down here. So, forest teleport. No, it's not enough area to teleport. I'm gonna get an aggro forest. Probably just pass there. Sunken tower. So enchant, I can't kill it with an enchant. If I picked up an Elderwood Embrace, I would have just cleared it. So yeah, let's take a leak. Let's 
Let's take a leak here, and then we're gonna crystal flower this. We're also gonna move this forest. So we're just gonna force the development of uh, an aggressive forest here again. Now I'm gonna move that, and then I'm gonna start building some lands, hopefully. We'll see what Salugi does in response, actually. Time of Legends into Runin. Very annoying. I'm gonna have to keep this crystal flower, unfortunately. I'm just gonna push Rune in up here. And then play, let's play another octopus as a, as a free seven. And then we'll pass. So we're very close to Yakapol. Actually, next turn I can Yakapol, which is gonna be very helpful. Rune is not really doing much, just getting pushed around the place. Tefra is actually gonna get an, a turn to do something before I'm able to recrystal flower it. So I'm gonna have to position my creatures in a way where it can't hit face. So in this position here, I'll have my Yakapult down. So I'll probably lose my Yakapult. Or I'll just take 11 damage, which isn't that big of a deal. And then I just recrystal flower it. And I don't ever wanna kill this now. I just want this to kind of just lurk. <laughs> I guess that's the word I was looking for. Just lurk around and hopefully not have too much influence. Now, if she does go into double collection, I can move my octopus across, land, hit here, and then enchant, then hit the uh, the runin. And then if runin gets replayed, it'll only be as a six six, but it can be replayed from this spot. So I need to I need to be careful of what I do with this runin. And yeah, I'm probably just going to ignore her to be honest. So we'll take another lake, move here, and then we're going to play Yakapult. And then we're going to pass. So we don't need to move anything with Sunken Tower yet. We can wait until something's played, then move the then move something. The Sunken Tower breaks, and then we can use the Yakapult to hit the orb. So we're just kind of uh, waiting now to see what happens. Teleport. Okay. Is it going to be a buff? Yep, just going to be a buff. Clear the Akbal. And get that aggro forest down. Alright, let's take a draw. Feed. Feed's quite handy. Don't really want to feed this, this is quite deadly. Could feed the wood elemental. Into another wood elemental. Into another feed. All right, let's kill this. Gonna go back to the hand, but we have a seven one, which can clear it. And take another wood elemental. Do I feed this one? Yeah, I, yeah, so I, I think one of the issues is with this list is sometimes you just draw loads of utility and it's really annoying. So Runin's moving towards the crystal flower. So dash into the other side of the board. Again, nothing too exciting. Again, nothing too exciting. So this is gonna crack open. There's not a lot I can do about it. I'm 
play the Willow to block a double collection. I don't like this, but just doing what I can, really. We're just gonna try and kill Tefra. I wish there was a I wish there was a tutor card for Yak cards because I I would love Yakaport again, but it got answered really easily by the teleport, unfortunately. So yeah, kind of sad, really. We'll see what Tefra gets up to. If we can kill Tefra, then we can then we can Crystal Flower Rune in. I don't understand why Salugi went ag I guess Salugi went aggro because he had Tefra, but it was very weird. If this played out like a normal game, I think I would have had a better chance of fending off Monogreen. Uh, but because Salugi just went complete aggro, um, I, there wasn't a lot I could do. Especially with especially with Tefra into Runin. Like, I had bo both the legendary cards early on, so it's pretty sad. Yeah, it turned out that way. Twelve Feria, man. I, I, it's looking pretty bleak. I must say that. I'm going to probably lose my top ten spot to this game. I'm going to kill my Willow. Very interesting. To wood elemental. Into firing golem. So yeah, this is where green starts to outvalue me. It becomes very difficult for me to fend them off. I don't have any safe positions to play flyer anymore. Maybe I do. No. I can't get to that foreign golem. I was trying to get to that foreign golem with my 3-7 and my 7-1 if I frog toss up the wood elemental. Frog toss the wood elemental. Nothing looks good here. Unfortunately. Alright, we're gonna do this. I don't think this is the best play. But it does relieve some pressure at least. Oh. Alright, so that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. I don't think I can win this game. I messed up with my moves there. Very difficult for me to find a win when my opponent hits Runin. That's the second time Runin has really made my life difficult, so... Might need a bit more than Crystal Flowers to answer Runin. This deck probably needs Frogify, so if you're, yeah, if you're running into a lot of Runin, Frogify could be a great answer to that. But like I said, this, this deck list is very flexible. Uh, you can kind of move cards in and out based on matchups, and uh, yeah, you can you can make matchups like these much easier. I mean, Crystal Flower only goes so far, whereas Frogify is a nice clean answer. It might just be a better card in general for this list. So yeah, if you're playing against a lot of Mono Green, a lot of Runin, Frogify could be a good alternative to the Crystal Flower. That wraps up this episode of Oversky Card Spotlight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Yakapult, as much as I love the card, isn't really a competitive deck, but you can have some fun with it, and it can be very powerful if you can set it up, but it's very hard when there's so many Runins running around, so I think the list needs a bit of a refinement. Like I said, Frogify could be a very good answer if you are tackling a lot of Runins. 
Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, drop subscribe. There's also an article attached to this video, so you could uh, read up on Yakapult and maybe some other ways you can build the deck and the deck around the card. So until next time, guys, take care and enjoy Yakapult.